As we now move into matrix multiplication, it's important that you recognize that when we deal with scalar multiplication, as you see in the example right here, you're really just taking a real number and then you just multiply it to all of the elements in the matrix and then you get your result as you see there. So that's scalar multiplication. If we're to use matrix multiplication, then matrix multiplication implies that you were, are going to take an actual matrix and multiply it with another matrix, as you're kind of seeing with those matrices bumped up against each other. So um, it's best if we just kind of work our way through how to go through matrix multiplication first of all, and then we'll kind of cycle back and talk about why it works as it does. So just kind of bear with things as we um, just go through the process, and then you'll understand kind of once we get to the end, like why does matrix multiplication actually work as it does. So it turns out that when we are trying to multiply matrices, as we see in this particular problem, you can only multiply matrices to together with one another when you have certain conditions holding. So before you actually multiply these matrices, it's important that you recognize um, some aspects of the dimensions of the matrices. So I'm going to record the dimensions of the first matrix. So the first matrix right here has two rows and three columns, so it's a two by three matrix. And then the second matrix that we have there has three rows and four columns. So what we're trying to do right here is we're trying to multiply a matrix with dimensions 2 by 3 with a matrix that's got dimensions 3 by 4. So it turns out that you can actually only multiply two matrices together with one another when those two middle numbers are the same. So specifically, this number right here is telling you the number of columns in the first matrix. So we got that, and then this number right here is actually telling you the number of rows in the second matrix. So because those numbers are the same, then you're actually able to multiply these two matrices together with one another. And when you then get your answer, it's actually really convenient and slick that these two outer numbers right here, the 2 and the 4, tell you the dimensions of the product. So in other words, we're going to get an answer that is a matrix that has two rows and four columns. So I'm going to kind of sketch that out right over here that we know that we're going to get basically elements in each of these positions um, right here. So I have this whole entire page really just for um, us to have room to do the work for all of this. So the way that matrix multiplication is going to work is that you always take an entire row from the first matrix, not columns, you take an entire row from the first matrix. So I'm going to choose the first row. And then from the second matrix, you always use columns. So I'm going to choose just the first column right there. And then you're going to only multiply the row with the column. And you can see I use kind of quotation marks right there. Um, there is some multiplication involved, but what you're going to do is you're going to pairwise multiply numbers and then add those um, results that you got from the pairwise multiplication. So what I mean by that is you're always going to take the first number from the row in that first matrix, and then the first number from the column in the second matrix, and pairwise multiply them together. So you're going to do 1 times 5, and then similarly you're going to take negative 3 times 1, and then um, 5 times 1. And then once you get those, you're going to add those all together. So it really just becomes 5 plus negative 3 plus 5, and that equals 7. So because we use row 1 and column 1, then the, the 7 is going to go in row 1, column 1 of your answer. So that means that this 7 right here is going to be the answer that we get right there. So the way I kind of like to go about matrix multiplication is then I just like to keep the row the same as long as I can and then just switch to the columns. So now I'm going to use the same row but now a different column and then just pairwise multiply. So I'm not really going to show too much work other than just um, multiply 2 times 1 and then negative 3 times 0 and 5 times negative 1 is that. And then if you add them together you're going to get that result right there. So because you use row 1, column 2, then negative 3 goes in row 1, um, column 2 of your answer matrix. So I think you kind of get what's you know going on here. So we just kind of cycle through the rest of this. So I can keep the row the same and switch the column there. And then there will be one more time where I can use that same row, but then switch to the last column. So in the green, if I work that out, you're going to get negative 1, 
and negative 9 and 10 when you multiply the pairs and then you add those all together that actually equals 0 and then in the blue there when you pairwise multiply you get negative 3 and then positive 6 and 10 and then you can add those together and that's going to give you 13 so that actually fills up the entire first row of your answer for this matrix right here and then now that we've used the entire um, row of that first matrix now we can just switch the row and then you'll just kind of um, pairwise multiply with each of the remaining columns that we have there so then next we'll do that with the second column and then we'll move to the third column there and then we'll end um, finally with the last column as you see there so if we work out the purple there we're gonna get 0 4 and negative 2 as your pairwise um, multiplication results and then add that together you're gonna get 2 and then if we move to the gray there you're gonna get 0 0 and positive 2 that you add together which is gonna give you 2 and then we move to the yellow which is gonna give you 0 12 and negative 4 when you pairwise multiply so if you add that together, you're going to get 8. And then finally, in the uh, pinkish color there, you're going to get 0, negative 8, and negative 4 when you pairwise multiply the, those pairs together. And you add that together, you're going to get a negative 12. So we get 2, 2, 8, negative 12. So then we know that we're going to get those numbers there. Two, two, eight, and finally negative 12. Okay, so that gives you kind of a first little flavor of matrix multiplication. So we're just going to kind of run through some more examples to help this settle in a little bit more concretely.